Hey, what's up, everybody? My name's Hardy, and uh, today we're going back to with Star Wars Battlefront again. Guys, I've already got the recorder on here, so I figured we'll just get that out of the way first. Uh, now, as I said, I said before that I, reco I recorded uh, these ones in bulk. The last video I uploaded was the first one, and uh, I was going on about that one. How, uh, oh, you know, Star Wars Battlefront. It was my uh, childhood game. I think that's how, how I put it. So, uh, what I want to know from you, you from my fa from you guys now is, uh, what was your guys' uh, childhood game? Because uh, everybody's had one, surely. I mean, everybody has that game they can either remember playing as they were growing up. So it, it, it'll, it'll depend, differentiate on your generation, like, and how old you were at the time. I mean, I say this is probably mine, but you know, there was, th there was um, things around like uh, Crash Bandicoot. And that's I played a lot of that with my sister. Um, I think <laughs> you'll call me stupid for this. I must have only been about seven or eight at the time. But I had Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets on PC, and my God, I must have completed that about literally about twelve times. That's all I used to play. But I think my P that was yeah that was on PC, and I think my long my PC game game days are long gone. I should appear just so you can watch this bit. Fail. I know. Big fail on my part. Yeah, uh, my PC d gaming days are long gone. I mean, as I hear it at the minute, Steam's going to shit. That's going to shit. I really don't know how Steam's work works. I've never ever really uh, used that thing. I don't know whether or not you uh, you have to just sign up and then you don't you just pay for the games of there or something? I don't know. No, it's not exactly something I'm gonna look into. Anyway, um... Uh, I figured I'd, I'd play with the CIS on this one because they, uh... With the clone, you can, you have them in both, uh... areas, so it just gets kinda boring even if they do have a slight change in armor, so... I figured I'd roll with the CIS. As for that little bit of difference. I mean, who doesn't like playing as a droidica? They're, they're so different. They're like, yo, I'm a droidica, and I'm just gonna roll around and have my shields up and whatnot. And right now, I must stand like a complete bakehead, but whatever, man. Um, I was also saying in the other video about Battlefront 3, I didn't go into too much detail, but, but basically what seemed to have happened was, just to recap, it was in production, some footage got leaked, another company started bitching about how, how they had the rights, both companies fell through, it seemed like a, um, then the rights were just completely ra lost. That or somebody wasn't buying them, I have no idea. Um, but I've been trying to chase it down again as of recent, and I thought I found a, tra a trailer a couple days ago, because it was, I know there, there's a lot of fake ones on YouTube, but I thought I had found one. But then as it got to the end of it, it turned out to be a league squadron, so I was like, damn, gutted. But, um, there was quite a lot of people stating, uh, I looked, I saw it on a top-rated comment of one of the trailers, that some dude said, um, I can't remember the name of the game studio that it, that it was that was making it, but he said that there is a studio that's making it, but obviously, um, it's in, um, What's the word? Cooperation with LucasArts, obviously. LucasArts are currently involved in a minute of a um, developing the. It's not. It's not Knights of the Old Republic yet. I think it's Knights of the Republic. So um, LucasArts are involved in making that at the minute. So what I've heard on various forums now is that LucasArts are gonna help finish off publishing, I don't know if they publish or anything, or anything LucasArts, I think they only just give, they just publish games, I really don't know, I'm not, I'm not gonna make myself sound like more of an idiot, but, uh, they said once Knights of the Republic's done, the new one, which also doesn't have a release date, so that could be quite a while, they said, uh, uh, then the production of Battlefield 3 can begin, so, uh, fingers crossed for that one, I've been looking forward to that game for... But when did this one come out? I think this one came out in around 2006. That's a good five coming up for seven years ago. I remember getting it for Christmas 2006, and my God, I was happy to see that game because it was also the time when uh, 
my PlayStation 2 broke. Uh, we had a big chunky one. Well, it was not one of the slimline ones at the time, and my god, it sucked so hard. And uh, I think like for the next for for like a whole year, I was just surviving on that thing. I mentioned in the first video how it would only play new games. It would play one game, and only one game in the entire freaking world. You guys want to know what that game is? That game was a PlayStation 1 game. It was a Crash Bandicoot game. It was Crash Bash. That was the only game I could play. And my god, I, I, I must be... I must have spent so many accumu accumulative hours playing that game during my childhood. It was unbelievable. But I suppose it all also gave me a reason to go out and just play football more. Yes, once I got my, my new, that new PlayStation back, I, I, I like made a schedule for myself. I thought, right, it's eight o'clock. I'm going, in, I'm going, in, guys. I'm going to play my freaking PlayStation. And it used to piss them off. And eventually, I'm not. Um, that's a little story of its own, but it spiraled into somewhat of an addiction. Say it was late as I could playing PlayStation. Got up and started playing PlayStation all day. Other than when, you know, I had to, obviously I was so young, I had to follow whoever was looking after me that day around and yada yada yada. But yeah, I just used to play this shit out of games, and now it seems like I've just calmed down so much more now that I've become a lot more mature. Because I figure, hang on, gaming's good, but some some of it annoys the shit out of me, like card on Black Ops. Fuck this, I'm gonna go to a party. So that's just the way it works right now, but however it's coming up to winter again. I'm not gonna lie, I freaking hate winter, so gaming will resume again. Um, let's come up to the last video now, so I'll just add some to you about some last minute things. This was the second game that I recorded, the third one's a little shotgun spree. So I think I'll just do that one straight that one, that after this one's uploaded. I know I said that last time, but I will do it because I need to get the card ones off my theatre. I got two Black Ops ones recorded now that I'm getting back into Black Ops. Uh, nice little uh, spawn trapping action on uh, Nuketown, and I believe there was one with the MP5K on Kowloon. Um, so yeah, I think I'll just leave this video at that. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, be sure to give it a like if you enjoyed. Comment on what was your uh, childhood game or something like that. And if you already haven't and you enjoyed what I do, be sure to subscribe. Thanks a lot, guys. See you later. Stay safe.